All right, everybody, we are here today checking out a little banger straight from Italia. This one is The Darkest Tales. Now, this is going to be a very grim and dark and very twisted take on, well, fairy tales. In many ways, it kind of reminds me of uh, Creepy Tale 1 and 2, which we played on the channel not too long ago recently. But um, it's basically taking a bunch of fairy tales you're used to. And twisting them to be, well, very, very disturbing, as a matter of fact. Uh, I think one of the first ones that we'll see is uh, the story of Little Red Riding Hood. And uh, l let me just tell you, it's, 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 it's not, it's not at all the Little Red Riding Hood that you're used to. Ooh, that's bad. Once upon a time, in a little room immersed in the stillness of the night, a little light was flickering, seemingly unable to rest. For many years, she had protected her mistress's sleep through the darkest nights. But now, something was troubling her deeply. The little light gathered her magical energy and began to flutter around the room. She needed to clear her mind. She paused to look at a picture of her keeper, Alicia with the thoughtful, but determined, air of someone who knows it's time to act. The girl with the sweet and ready smile was in a dark place. But the little light had a plan. All she needed was a willing helper, and she knew exactly where to find the perfect candidate. Nauseating sound reminds me of someone. Charming as ever. Rest assured, I would leave you in peace if Alicia weren't sick. Sounds serious. Let me know how it plays out. Enough of your wisecracks! There's no time to waste. She's been taken by dream demons. What do I know about dealing with demons and sick girls? But Alicia... Not interested. I always said you were just a stupid egotist. <sighs> And she kept on believing you were a hero. Listen to me, you luminous little bug. I have no idea what you're talking about. Dream demons? You've got to be kidding. That little girl shut me away in here without batting an eyelid. If something really did manage to get in her dreams, I'm sure she can deal with it. Ooh, now I understand. She hurt your pride, did she? How long have you been stuck in this box? Months? Years? And now, you're refusing to help her because she abandoned you. Why wouldn't she want to play with the stupid, filthy old bear anymore? Well, let me spell it out for you. You're pathetic, cowardly, <sighs> despicable. Darnation, enough with the sermon already. Just tell me what's going on, and then turn yourself off. Ah, uh, poor unfeeling bear. Alicia, our mistress, has fallen into a deep sleep. I know it sounds awfully strange, but demons are devouring her subconscious. Sounds like hogwash to me. But even if it were true, what could the two of us do about it? Right. So, we are good to go. I gotta say, I really enjoy the voice of the bear. I love that, like, old, run-down, decrepit... I'm going, fairy, relax. I love that old, like, decrepit, run-down voice for, like, you know, teddy bears for some let's reason. Go, bear! I'm going, relax. Okay, so let's see, you're gonna guide me along the way, probably. Thank you. Here's all of our medals. Down in A. Jump over obstacles. So apparently those uh, pencils are quite deadly to us stuffed bears, huh? Those were crossing over into the other world? Huh. Indeed we have. Look at that! I even have a little nice little adventurer's outfit and everything. <laughs> uh, 
Mmm, <laughs> what a strange smell. And who might you be? <laughs> you don't smell like a filthy wolf. Are you lost by any chance? <clears throat> uh, I guess so. But if you would be so kind as to show me the path, I'll be on my way. A <sighs> serious air of judgment, my dear. Didn't your mother warn you about getting <clears throat> lost? It's too late now. The forest is infested with abominable wolves who can't wait to tear you to shreds. And they've already caught your scent. So, am I done for? There might be a way to save your fur. If you can get to my grandma's house quickly. <laughs> if you'd let me get up, I'd already be on my way. <laughs> Try not to lose your way this time. <laughs> These howls are giving me the creeps. But we aren't here to run away. We're here to fight, right? No, Furbrain! This is exactly the right time to run away! We have to find a weapon! You won't last long without one! Hmm. Yeah, that's uh, Little Red Riding Hood. Perfectly fine. And apparently we're supposed to be worried about the wolves. I'm not so sure about that one. Teleportation mirrors connect the world of dreams together. Is that something I have to do right now or? No, I guess it'll be from traveling from time to time. <laughs> now, I'm pretty sure I mentioned in the intro, but in case I did not, this is only a prologue. It's not the full game. I think the full game is slated to come out early next year. But I have a link for you guys down below. This is available to you guys as well. So if we don't cover the entirety of it here today, you guys could, you know, download it for yourselves and check it out. I like it. There's plenty of blood and that impaling right there. So for now, let's go onwards. And the interesting thing about this, I'm not sure if it's going to be just like nothing good puzzles and obstacles, but there was a difficulty setting for this game as well. So. <gasps> Okay. You're like a toy wolf. You have a little winding thing in the back of your uh, well back. Yeah. So I'm not sure. I, I I'm not sure it's gonna be like combat, traditional combat. Uh, yeah. Are you trying to intimidate me or what? I just need to get over you, my friend. Can I? Oh yes. And I guess we can teleport back if we have to. So I guess there's gonna be a little bit of backtracking involved. So I'm not sure if it's like your traditional, like, you know, Metroid media or something, but there is a difficulty option, so. I imagine that because of that, there will probably be like combat and stuff like that. Uh, I don't think we can make this jump. Can we. No, it doesn't seem like it's one of those, like, you know. Take it all the way down and then, uh, jump up at the highest point. I mean, that seems deadly, though. I'm supposed to take damage. Okay. Wait, Bear, your seams won't last long. But don't worry. Stay still for a few moments. I'll use my magic to mend you. Uh, can you at least try to be a bit more careful? Bear with me, Bear. And stop moaning. There you are, good as new. <laughs> She's just uh, stitching us up. I have to admit, you did a surprisingly good job. I know. Pretty impressive, right? The only impressive thing around here is your ego. Okay, so we have a heal ability now. Oh, this is no good. Oh. <laughs> Sucker. Yeah. My sentiment exactly, Bear. Can we make this jump, by the way? Yes. But why? Good question. It seems it's going to circle back to where we fell, so let's just ignore that for now. Should be able to clear that. Or is there a double jump? No. If there is, we don't have the ability just yet. Finally, the weapon we were looking for. Quake and fear, wolves. A rusty pair of scissors. Don't you recognize them? Scissors Alicia wasn't allowed to play with as a child. You won't find a better weapon in this world. All they need is a little magic. Huh. 
Oh, wow. The scissors have gotten rid of that pesky bug. Maybe they really are as powerful as she said. Charming as always, but do try to be more careful. I fused my magic with theirs to awaken their true power. You can do it. Come and get them. <sighs> ah, splendid. Now we're talking. Let's find out what these monsters are made of. All right. So we're going to be dual wielding, apparently. Sweet. It's kind of intriguing, though. So we're going to probably see a bunch of items, I guess, thrown about that have to do with the girl's memory. So this was the rusty pair of scissors she was not allowed access to. I guess if we want to teleport back, we could. Now, nah, whatever. Let's see. Sure, don't jump into some stabby stuff there. Wolfman. Alright, so this would be like a fight that we have to partake in no matter what. Hmm. Slowed him down momentarily. Now, it does seem that I could kind of float in midair by just swinging the weapon around. I would have hmm. killed them all anyway. I'm not taking orders from a petulant pair of scissors. Just concentrate on the task at hand. By absorbing their powers, people become stronger and stronger. It's the only way we can save Alicia. Oh, you mean like uh, leveling up, maybe? <laughs> okay, so we can't double jump, but as we swing up here, it'll keep us afloat for a bit. So that's probably good information for us to know. We have the X way and we have the right way. Give it to you. For now, let's just go over here towards the right way. Oh, oh, oh. I don't want to go the right way anymore. No, no, I'm going to go towards DMX. Oh, jeez. Oh, okay, well, this is... This is a little bit more acceptable, I imagine. Do you think we can get past that thing, or should I have slashed? I mean... At first, I was letting it manifest, thinking maybe it. Oh, is these spider webs? Oh, please don't. Not the spiders. Yeah, like I let it manifest, thinking, oh, something's gonna happen. Maybe like a friend. <gasps> oh! Well, look what I found! Bear, the time has come ah. to show you just how incredibly awesome I am. Just once, could you make yourself useful without bragging about it? With the energy we have absorbed, I can enhance our skills. Well, I guess those are the ones we already have, right? So we're trying to look up either speed up or increase damage. You know what? Give me speed. Well, oh, speaking of which, can we even kill those? Um, yeah, these dudes here. Hmm. Well, not by regular means. At least not when his little um sonic spikes are out. Yeah, so I guess no matter what, the moment you get close to me, you'll probably pop those out. We can't kill them, at least with the conventional means, just with the sword. So we'll probably have to get another weapon for that. Oh, this doesn't look good already. Oh. What? Oh, jeez. <laughs> I love the way you slaughter those revolting wolves. I delight in the hatred I see burning in your eyes. A reflection of my own loathing. What in tarnation is this monster? Did you kill it? All on your own? He's the king of the wolves. It wasn't easy to take him out, but seeing you fight got me so excited. So I wanted to surprise you. With a giant corpse. How thoughtful of you. <laughs> no, my dear. That's not the surprise. Help! Help! This bear killed the King of the Wolves! Here's your surprise. A fight that will drench the entire forest in blood. <laughs> Dude, Little Red Riding Hood is nuts. Okay, is this like one of those things where you, we should just keep running, perhaps? Or do we have to stand and fight? Did we stun lock you guys? Okay, you guys are dead at least. Okay, we gotta jump through here. I think we gotta just gotta, gotta keep moving. Dude, this is this is frankly awesome. <laughs> to be honest. Oh, no. Damn it. What was that noise? This is frankly awesome. 
like little red riding with its nuts. Alright, we're able to stun lock them at least, so maybe the speed oh, charge attack. So maybe the speed one was the right one. So even though we're not doing enough damage, at least we just stun lock it in place, so that's good. What's up? I guess we're going down. Okay. Oh boy. Yeah, I see you there, buddy. Okay, it seems the nightmare for now is over. Loving, you know what, like, I haven't really talked too much about, I mean, the wolf thing, just being like that giant wolf completely slaughtered was kind of a really awesome visual in a very dark way, but it's actually very good visuals all around for this game so far. So that coupled with the idea of, like, you know, dark fairy tales and really, really good voice acting so far, gotta say, I'm digging it. Oh, we don't have to worry about the water. Curious. Ah, oh, yes we do. Yes we do. Yes we do. Old village mines, huh? The hate. Yeah, that's, that's one way for it. That's one way to name it. Oh, good. What in tarnation happened here? I don't know, but I don't like it one bit. Let's hurry along, shall we? Wow, this is grim. What? <laughs> oh, it's you again. That was incredible. You managed to get this far. Darn, little girl. Watching you fight always lights a fire inside me. I'll wait a minute. This time, it's the forest that's on fire. What are you... Ranting on about. You have been excellent, Bait. Thank you for luring all the wolves in the forest here. None of them will survive. <laughs> now I just have to exterminate the last few remaining in their den. I'll soon put an end to their nasty little species. Darn psycho! <laughs> That's, ah, ah, oh, come on. I wasn't even ready. I wanted to take in the scenery that's happening here. I was going to say as well, like, uh, I'm really, really liking the voice for Little Red Riding Hood. Like, she actually does sound, uh, for Rocker, which she should. It's great. I don't really like taking damage as I'm standing about, but hey. Um. It seems to be a way to go up there. But before we do, let's see about doing a little bit of exploration down about. That seems to be a dead end up there. Oh, so it's a dead end too. Alright, I guess up we go. Very dark forest. I feel like we might be heading towards that den she spoke about. Is this... yeah, it's back to the mines over there. But again, that was a dead end at least from that side. Water. Mm. I mean, we know it damages us, but it doesn't seem like there's... There could be something down there. It's a very bad spot for you to be at. Hey, we have a level up too. Should probably use that. Matter of fact, let's do that right now. Skill tree, let's see. Increase HP. Ooh, one more extra HP bar. Increase healing speed. Yeah, sure. Give me... Longer knife. No, no, you're you're in a very... I need I need the edge to make it to the other side, my dude. There you go. That works. Teleport unlock. Uh, nothing down there. Is this Alicia's bed? Ooh. You're right. What a funny coincidence. Funny? We're in a little girl's nightmare, and we're about to go under her bed. I don't like this one bit. You old coward. Let's leave the squabbles for another day, you luminous bug. Right now, we need to stay alert. Oh, good. The den happens to be under her bed, too. Yeah, I'm not liking this one bit. 
I see you bats up there. Come on down. Come on. There you go. I knew. I saw it. I mean, I'd prefer if you fly through here so I can get a little easy kill. You're, you're, you're way beyond my, my purview of attack. There it is. That one's dead. I want to float over through there. Let's go. Oh, nice of uh, Little Red Riding Hood to um, paint the way for us. So that, that is indeed the right way. I just realized, so she was the one who did the right way, wrong way thing earlier. And I didn't really consider at the time, but I guess it was probably drawn or at least written blood. Little Red Riding Hood is insane. How about we top ourselves off almost if we can? No, not enough for the last bit. Boop, 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 boop. Everything's falling apart. Anything down here? Secret, maybe? No. Got this very ominous music happening, like dumping. Making me a little bit worried. Um, this doesn't seem to have like any sort of blood. There's like blood off to the right hand side, but I'm curious about it. Ooh, a little bit of side exploration. Didn't see you guys in darkness. This is good though. It'll hopefully give us enough to just top ourselves off. Because I have a feeling we're going to be fighting a little bit riding good. I don't think the wolves are the problem here. I heard some cackling in the far off. So this is apparently nothing. Maybe not until we get an ability to swim. Who knows? For now, nothing though. But you know what we got? We got enough to top ourselves off. Should we go below? It doesn't feel like if we go, if we go down there, we're going back up. That is where the blood leads as well. All right, let's go. Ah! Oh, come on! Oh, you scumbag! Of all the potential spots to fall, right at the spikes. Okay, feels like this could be it. Unless she's got more tricks for me. Oof. Yeah, I get the feeling this is it. I knew that you wouldn't die that easily. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Not to mention the assassination attempt. I've got the room all ready for our final dance. And I can't wait to paint it with your blood. It's an honor for my scissors to accept your invitation, milady. <gasps> um, maybe I should have warned you about something. In the midst of blood, I get much stronger. What does that mean? Okay. Oh, you got knives too. Got knives that you toss, okay. Okay. Spearing act. I can deal with that. A bit faster. Do it again. Good so far. Now you're hanging off the walls. Okay. Same thing again. Ah, oh, of course. Shockwave attack. Too early a jump. So when you go straight down, it's when you do the shockwave. When you go diagonal, you just do the... Ah, oh, God, I gotta get a time right in there. I can't get it right. Ah! Oh, I beat her. Not really happy with how that fight went. I was still trying to learn the patterns. But, um, she died in the midst of that. This is the afterlife for bears. Dead? What in tarnation? <laughs> You're still the same old gullible. Cut to the chase, demon. Just tell me, what am I doing here? You're here because you killed that blood-crazed little girl, Timmy. And 
I am deciding whether or not to destroy you. Answer me this one question. Do you know who I am? A bright-eyed freak who wants to kill me. I see. You... You don't remember. Don't remember what? Uh, my head. Don't you dare leave! I'm not done with you yet. Already, glowworm. I'm awake. You're back. You completely lost consciousness. What happened? How on earth should I know? One moment I was here, and the next, something. something tried to kill me. Ha! <laughs> Only you could pass out and have a nightmare while you're already in the land of nightmares. Come along, let's get a move on. Alicia can't save herself. Okay, there's still more to go. I'm surprised. I figured like after that fight that'd be basically over. Yeah, it was uh it's relatively easy pattern once you get it. When she goes straight down, she does a little shockwave thing, so if you're far away enough, you're supposed to just predict it and jump over it. Diagonal, well, diagonal's very simple. And then like sh then she'll do the dagger thing. But she went down relatively quickly when I was just trying to learn the pattern first. I figured, well, we'll probably die one time picking it up, but she went down fast and really expected she would. Although I was getting a lot of combos on her, so that probably could have been it. The little fairy's voice boomed throughout the cave, with the force of a mighty roar. And the roar grew louder, and louder still. The cave itself was roaring. From the walls to the vault, everything started shaking. The cave was collapsing! Teddy ran towards the sunlight as fast as he could, dodging the deadly rocks that were falling all around him. He summoned up his last reserves of energy. And he leapt out of the cave, just before it came crashing down behind them. Safe from danger for now, Teddy and Letty paused to catch their breath in the verdant clearing. Finally, fresh air! For once, I have to agree with you. It sure is a relief to get out of that cave. Or out from under the bed, or... Well, from wherever it was. What's this shiny bag? Huh. <clears throat> Not sure if I trust that. They must be magic beans. Oh. <laughs> magic beans? Of course. We're at the house where that nice boy lived. The one who traded a cow for this priceless treasure. Priceless treasure. Would you please stop repeating everything I say? Beans for a cow just doesn't seem like a great deal. You don't think so? This plant grew from Oof. just one bean. Does the deal make more sense now? Okay, I suppose that's pretty impressive. Just out of curiosity, what happens if you eat them? Don't be ridiculous. They're much too powerful. Only a complete half-wit would eat them. The risk would be enormous. Furbrain, what have you done? Uh, nothing. I just ate the magic beans. Can a bear not get hungry in this world? You're hopeless. But since you haven't exploded, let's figure out how to make the most of your new powers. Magic charge, hold left trigger to charge your magical power. The magic will apply your next hit. Ah. I see. Next hit, huh? Very cool. Well, we're over time, so I'm going to wrap it up here for this one. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. 
So far, pretty damn good. Now, this is not, as I mentioned, it's not the full game just yet. It's just a prologue. I'll have the information for you guys down below because you want to download for yourselves and check it out in your own time. But man, once we get the full game, I'm definitely going to check this one out. I mean, the Little Red Riding thing alone was awesome in itself. You know, hope fight could have lasted a bit longer than it really did. But other than that, everything else so far, pretty damn cool. And I mean, like, we have literally the giant here. The skeletal remains of the giant. And Jack and the Beanstalk. Like, his leg was, like, he's literally broken in half. This is the remains of the giant. It's, it's insane. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I'll catch you next time.